Hello and welcome to the latest episode of the Low Budget Review Show. I am your host, Eric Smith, and today I am talking about Dead Leaves by Keelan Patrick Burke, Nine Tales from the Witching Season, and uh, it's exactly what it sounds like, nine short stories written by Keelan Patrick Burke that all take place around Halloween, uh, or at least during autumn. Now, right off the bat, the first story, Andromeda. I started reading this and got to a point where I thought, well, this seems really familiar. And it turns out I have read it before. Let me go to the copyright to get this right. Uh, it is in a, I think it's considered a chat book. Uh, but Andromeda is in a book, Cut Corners 3. And I have, and I believe I've reviewed all three of the Cut Corners books. So it was interesting I had no idea that there was anything in this book that I had already read, but the very first story. And as far as that first story goes, um, it, man, it's a, it's an interesting story. It's, it's a, an apocalypse is coming kind of story, maybe, sort of, but it's very, it's creepy. It's unsettling. Uh, it's not graphic. Well, eh, dep- I guess it depends on your level of tolerance. But it, it some of it reminded me, uh, if, you, if you've seen The Ring, or Ringu, as I recall, the, the images in the video, the images themselves, the little scenes, the vignettes, whatever you want to call them, are not horrifying in and of themselves. There's just something unsettling about them. And that's what I got from some of the things that happen in the story Andromeda, is they're they're very unsettling. It just gives you a weird, creepy feeling. Um, It's a good story. So let's see. Then we have uh, Someone to Carve the Pumpkins is, I think, a very um, a very sort of typical Halloween, almost, again, campfire kind of story. Um, <clears throat> I say again because I just recorded a review for another book where I mentioned, like, campfire type stories. Um so it might not make sense in this video at this point. But um, now when I say typical sort of campfire story, uh, that isn't to disparage the writing. The writing throughout this book is absolutely fantastic. Uh, Keelan Patrick Burke is a great writer. and uh, but, it, but Someone to Carve the Pumpkins just has that feel of the type of story that one would tell around a campfire or something. Uh, but I like it. And then, uh, let me see, I don't think I'm going to go through every single one of these. I'm looking at the table of contents here. Um, the Toll, oof. That's a powerful story. The Tradition, uh, I'll, I'll read you the table of contents, I suppose. So we have an introduction, then we have Andromeda, Someone to Carve the Pumpkins, Haven, How the Night Receives Them, Tonight the moon is ours. Toll. Will you tell them I died quietly? Uh, very interesting story. The tradition. Excuse me. The tradition. The one night of the year. And then, oh, I forgot. There's a, a long list of recommended books, recommended movies. Uh, and I have read quite a few of the books, seen quite a few of the movies, but there are others that I absolutely. I'm going to check out. Um, But, uh, ooh, spooky picture. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, without going into what each story is about, it's it's quality writing. Uh, I gave this four out of five stars. It's, um, again, it's Keelan Patrick Burke is a fantastic writer. He's got a great style, and he knows how to tell a story. Uh, the the level of these stories is, you know, from good to really, really good. 
they're not uh if if you're looking for every story to have a nice everything wrapped up in a nice little bow you're not going to get that here some are some aren't i would say more more aren't but uh it's a nice mix of different types of stories um yeah, I'm not sure what else to say without, you know, getting into the specifics of each story. Uh, here, I'll just, just for a little taste, and so that I can't say, or no one can say I spoiled anything, here's the back, cover copy. Strange text messages portend a strange kind of apocalypse. It's Andromeda. Two brothers find themselves drawn to the only house in the neighborhood not decorated for Halloween. A man returns to his hometown to bury his overbearing mother and finds more than memories awaiting him in the shadows of his childhood home. Ooh, yeah. I like what's going on in that story. <clears throat> a young girl walks a lonely country road, recalling a rhyme that brings with it memories of death. A teenager hoping for romance gets more than he bargained for when the object of his desire introduces him to the object of hers. An aging millionaire awakes buried in a cheap coffin with only a lamp and a bell for company. That was a fun one. Fun being, you know, depending on your meaning of the word. The son of a woman accused of being a witch accepts the villager's peace offering at her funeral, but all is not quite as it seems. And a lonely trick-or-treater awakes in a house rumored to be a place of death. So I think that covers all the stories. Gives you a little... Just a little touch of each one. Uh, so hopefully, well, hopefully the name Keelan Patrick Burke will just drive you to pick this up. But maybe that little taste, that little back cover copy will have piqued your interest as well. Um, so there you go. Oh, I guess the toll is a brand new story for the book. Uh, anyway, that's Dead Leaves. Keelan Patrick Burke, I gave it 4 out of 5 on Goodreads. I recommend it. I recommend definitely checking out Keelan Patrick Burke. And since we're in October now, as I'm recording, why not pick up some tales from the witching season? Dead leaves. Uh, I don't really have a question for this video. Uh, so, you know what? Let's Let's mix things up. Why don't you hit me up with a question? Any question in the comments below. I may or may not answer it. Um, if you have any comments, questions, or corrections, please put those in the comments below. Comments are open for spoilers. Just post a spoiler warning. We try to be polite here at the Low Budget Review Show. Please like, share, and subscribe. All the usual YouTube stuff. If you'd care to follow me on other social media, my Twitter is at Ronan5757. My Instagram, where I post pictures of books, comic books, board games, and fuzzy animals, is Eric Smith 5757 That's Eric with a K, E-R-I-K-S-M-I-T-H 5757. That's all I have. This has been the Low Budget Review Show. I have been Eric Smith. And until next time, read more books.